Hey, coming at you again on a Tuesday. Just um, I have this energy and these thoughts, and so I'm going to follow up on them. You know, a friend, well, you know, actually a follower. I, I don't know this person, but my thoughts and feelings towards him are friendly. I was kind of complaining <laughs> on my page about he wishes um, someone, probably me, would review his music. And uh, I just want to dedicate um, this um, uh, post somewhat to him because I feel I feel you. You know, it's frustrating. I don't know exactly what the person is thinking and feeling, but I know what it's like to feel frustration about either feeling neglected, underappreciated, not noticed. Um, all kinds of feelings in regard to our work or the things that we do. But since I've been at this for a long, long time, I also know that um, <clears throat> it takes a certain amount of work, you know, to um, accrue notice and attention. And um, I've been working at this a long time, you know, I've been been playing it's 2014 and I've been playing music um, a lot you know since 1972 I think Me yeah I would have been playing it since I was a kid but as far as venturing out into bands I started in bands in high school and would call my real origins 1972 you know done all kinds of stuff I may be sitting here as a record collector, um, making videos at my home, um, but uh, I've experienced a lot um, of the, and done a lot of, in regards to being um, a working musician and artist, and um, just, uh, again, keep doing your thing, if you truly believe in what you're doing, then um, you just keep working and it will uh, come to something. This is uh, another post in regards to flyover and I am not overdoing it. I'm needing to interact or I think I'm necessarily giving a lot of information <laughs> regards my latest record. Uh, I think I need to flyover. Okay, so people have been receiving it. When I pack the records in the uh, mailers, I always separate the inner and the outer, okay? I leave the record inside the inner sleeve. Some of the inner sleeves, apparently quite a few of them are, you know, the inner sleeve is arriving split. Um, I mean, I'm separating them here. I don't know that it would be a good idea to take the record out of the inner sleeve if I had the money to buy extra white inner sleeves to put these in and separate them from this, I would do that. But I want to explain that I just learned this. This is the first time I've had a printed inner sleeve. And it appears that this is um, going with the territory with the type of paper that this is and the fact that the record is 120, 180 grams, it appears. This one is nice and it's intact at this time. But there's no way that I can guarantee that I send it intact that it won't arrive with a rip in one of the seams due to jostling in, in the mail. But as I said in a previous video, a couple videos back after I received notice from a friend that his had arrived and the inner seam was split and it was disappointed and I was too I went and looked at um, all the, the flyers that I had unboxed I haven't unboxed all of them from the shipping crates um, and lo and behold I hadn't even sent them and most of them already in the bottom on the bottom inner sleeve there's a because of 
it's split already. And one of the last crates of this, like this that I opened, the inner sleeves were um, intact. So what I want to do is, here is another um, box of 12 flyovers. I'm going to live open it on the camera and we're going to see if um, these are intact, if the inner sleeves are mostly intact or if they're split. I'm doing this mainly because I... Yeah, I'm going to express human frustration at the reality that you cannot ever have exactly what you want. And, you know, I wanted so much for this record to be deluxe, which it is. And yet there, there, there are these little things like the double R's on the spine that I fucking missed in the proofreading. And, you know... Pirates Press even asked me if I was sure, but they didn't point that out. God dang it, you know, and I'm looking right at it and I didn't even see it, you know. And so then this um, nagging seam split on the inner sleeve that's happening is pissing me off because I feel you record collectors who are anal or obsessive com compulsive whichever one or if you don't want to claim either those are the just the fact that you want your records pristine I want them pristine too so let's see how these look okay, okay. I'm listening to uh, as I hold this up because I want this to be transparent this is fun listening to cosmic crowd hits an old sampler of um, German uh, rock. We just heard Amandol, Amandol from uh, Dance of the Lemmings, and now this is Niagara, SUV. Okay, so I'm gonna open this baby. So this is, this is how they come, and I'll open it from this side. And you can see a whole, a whole box of uh, New flyovers, okay. Let's take the let's take this top one, okay, and I'm trying to be nice with it, okay. As you can see, the outside is pristine. Let's see. Okay. Look, I just took it out in the top. I just took it out of the fucking crate that I bought that it was mailed to me, and look. It's split. So I just want to explain to folks, because I've already received, they're nice, people are nice, but still, they're disappointed. And I just wanted to show you that they ain't a goddamn thing I can do about it. It's how they came, you know, it must, <sighs> okay. Perfection is indeed a concept, it's not a reality, at least way it's not on this planet. <laughs> Extremely proud of this album, though. that's why I keep talking about it and showing it to you, and it just got here. It, it's a week old, I got, this was delivered last Tuesday, but once again, I just took this out of the, of the, the mailing crate, you saw me open it, and the top seam is split. So there's nothing I can do, guys, okay? Love y'all. Guys and girls, or ladies and gents, people. You know what I mean when I say guys? It's just very familiar. 